Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the Angular 2 Quick Start. Alright, so before we get into that, let's talk about what is required. Um, you're going to need Node.js, so if you don't have that, just go to nodejs.org. Go ahead and download it and install it. It's cross-platform, you can install it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And um, yeah, so get that installed. I already have it, so I'm not going to go through it, but I do have a video on my channel on how to install it in Windows uh, and Linux. All right, so we're also going to need Git. Um, I actually use a tool that comes with this called Git Bash, and it's a command line tool. And you don't need to use it. You can use the Windows command line or your terminal, whatever it is you use. But uh, I like it. It adds a little. It adds some Linux tools to Windows. So go ahead and download that here. Uh, you will need Git to clone the Quick Start, so get that set up. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through it, but it's just a, a basic, straightforward installer. You're also going to need a text editor. You probably have a preference, but if you don't, I'd suggest Atom, especially with TypeScript, because it has a plugin that uh, gives you some really nice code highlighting and stuff like that. All right, so if you want to, you can download that and install it. All right, so now what we need to do is go to angular.io, and this is the official Angular website. If we click on the Get Started button, it'll take you to a page like this. You can click on this link right here, and that's going to take us to the Angular 2 Quick Start GitHub repository. All right, so all we need to do is clone it. So we can grab this link, or not this link, but this command right here, copy it, and then we're going to go to wherever you want to set up your folder mine's going to be in a folder called projects in my c drive so i'm going to go ahead and open the git bash tool right here and like i said you don't need this you could just use your windows command prompt or your terminal all right and then we're just going to paste that in and i'm just going to change this last part my proj to my app okay we'll go ahead and run that we should be able to go into it all right so I'm going to open up my text editor and we're going to add that folder to the project. Okay, so over here you can see all the files that it created. We have our package.json file. If we take a look at that, you can see all of the different uh, dependencies down here, including Angular 2. We went over this in the last video, all the dependencies and the dev dependencies. All right, so there's nothing we need to do to this file. Um, what else do we have? We have our main app folder here, and this has the main app component called app.component.ts. All right, all of our files will have a TS file extension. Now, in this component, I'm not going to go over the syntax yet. We're going to do that in the next video, but um, everything is going to be imported into this file, okay, any components we create. And then main.ts just includes the main app component, and it also includes the bootstrap function, which gets your Angular 2 application bootstrapped up and running. All right, so let's close those, close that out. And what we'll do now is run npm install. Make sure you're in the project folder. And that's going to get all of our dependencies set up. All right, so that should have created a node modules folder here. Um, now what we'll do is just run npm start. And what that's going to do is it's going to compile all of our TypeScript into JavaScript. You can see over here that we now have a lot more files. Okay, so from our app component TS, it created all these JavaScript files. Uh, the spec file, the map file for debugging, and so on. Now, if you look at the app component JS file and you look at the JavaScript here, it's absolutely ridiculous compared to the TypeScript file, which is this. All right, so I don't know if I mentioned it, but you don't have to use TypeScript. You could, of course, use regular JavaScript, but <laughs> you can see that the difference, um, you're going to want to go with TypeScript. All right, it's much cleaner and much easier to understand. All right, so that when I ran that npm start, it opened up this window for us. This is at localhost 3000. That's the default address of our application. And it's running on a dependency called light server. And that's it. That's our application. 
All right, so we are now ready to jump in and do some coding. In the next video, we'll look at components.